guys, it's Lake Hopper LT here, and today I got a special episode for you. We're gonna go to the Berry Fishing Show and actually have a chat with the guys at Blackfly Lures. Um, they make awesome spinner baits. They make awesome uh, buzz baits. Uh, so stay tuned, guys. I'll, I'm gonna have a chat with one of their pro staffers, and then I'll come back and uh, I'll explain how I use the spinner baits and the different situations that you can use yours. So stay tuned, guys. Hey, what's going on guys? It's Lake Hopper here and I have Mark from Blackfly Lures. Uh, he's gonna talk to you a little bit about the process and how these lures are made. Um, our spinner baits are all handmade here in Acton, Ontario. All our spinner baits are, are, some of the features is all our skirts are tied with wire, hand tied, so your skirts aren't coming off and you got a little rubber band around them or right. whatever, you know, you catch one or two fish and then your skirt, right, or, or you lose your, your skirt, down. yep. So uh, all our spinner baits have a closed loop, so if, uh, for those that want to use a staff or a leader, you know, it's not sliding down your line and you don't have to tie directly. Right. Um, the other thing, all our components are all top notch components. Um, the color selection that we have is pretty amazing. Uh, most places you go, you'll find four, four, five, six colors. We have unlimited colors. All right, guys, so that was a little clip from the Barry Fishing Show uh, with Mark from Blackfly's Lures. Um, I've been using their spinner baits since I moved to Canada, and they work amazing. I'm not sponsored by them, but they make really, really good product. Um, he wasn't lying when they said they have every single color. They have every single color, and if you think of a color that you need and you're a tournament fisher, they'll make it for you. Um, I haven't had any issues with any of theirs. Uh, this is my third season with them, and they work great. Now, let's get more into why I use the different types of blades. We have double willow, double Colorado, and then we have double hatchet. So the double willow here, uh, you're gonna throw these in a bit of a clearer water. Uh, when you're looking for a lot of flash, not a lot of thump, you're gonna throw these guys. Um, you'll be burning these more uh, more on top of the water. Uh, it's a faster speeding, spa faster spinning reel is what you're gonna use on this guy. Um, and you're gonna get more uh, faster reaction bites is what you're gonna get out of these guys. Now when you throw a double Colorado blade, uh, this is a more tainted water, uh, slower reel. Um, you're gonna bring this in nice and slow. They're gonna be, it's, it gives you a thump in the water. It's a completely different sound and that, that gets the bass's attention and that's where you get their reaction bite at that point. It's just, a, it's slower, the slower you reel it, um, these type of blades actually keep the bait higher in the water so it's great. Now, my favorite when I'm fishing a lake that I've never fished before, the double hatchet. So the double hatchet gives you that thump it keeps, a, it keeps the actual bait up higher in the water, and it also gives you the flash, so you have all of the three aspects uh, to, get, to get that bite that you're looking for. Now, whenever I'm at a lake that I, I really don't know or I've never been there, there's a lot of lakes here in Canada that I haven't been to yet, um, and it, it looks like it's, it's good weather, it's a little bit of overcast, and it's good weather to start throwing a spinnerbait, or I see some rocky shores or something like that, and I, I just wanna throw a spinnerbait instead of a crankbait, I always grab that double hatchet, and then, it never fails. Uh, I pick it up. I get to know how the how they're reacting. I get to throw this. I get to reel it in fast. I get to reel it in slow and figure out how the fish are acting. And once I figure that out, then I can make my my switch up and start messing with colors a little more and see what they actually like to swallow. All right, guys. So aside from clarity, where you're fishing these lures and how fast you're fishing these lures, if you're if you're burning them on the water or if you're slow spinning them, um, you need to consider the weight of your lure of your spinner bait. Now, I always stick to two weights, a half ounce and a three eighths of an ounce. I never deviate from those two. They can get every job done in any situation. Um, I have them in every single color, so I never have to worry about them. Um, if you're looking to start a small spinner bait collection, stick to the half ounce and stick to the three eighths of an ounce. It's not gonna lead you wrong. Well guys, I'm gonna, put, I'm gonna play a video of all the boats that we saw at the boat show today. Um, I got just their quick clips of going around. Uh, there wasn't a lot of actually boats. The, it was a smaller show. Um, so I hope you enjoy this video, guys. I hope the spinner baits helped. Um, my advice helped you guys. So stay tuned for next time. Uh, if you haven't yet, please like and subscribe my YouTube channel and follow me on Instagram. It's Lake Hopper. Take it easy, guys. Thanks for watching. So there wasn't really a lot of interesting, interesting boats out there. Uh, I found this one black fin. Um, that center console was amazing and I fell in love with it as soon as I saw it. Then it was just your basic uh, 
tinny boats with your tiller motors in the back. Um, they didn't see anything interesting. They didn't have any bass boats. Well, not that we found. We didn't find any bass boats. I was hoping to find at least a nitro there, but we, we didn't find anything at all. Um, but it was a nice. It was nice. It was the it's the first berry boat and fishing show. Well, we're just hoping next year we get some more fishing vendors. Um, there was only two vendors selling fishing supplies, so we're really really hoping that we're gonna see a, a increase in that next year. But other than that, they had a nice lineup of boats. Um, so yeah, uh, watch the video, guys. Um, the video is a little bit shaky. Um, I had a new camera guy helping me out today. Uh, Kobe, you did a great job for never doing this before, so thanks a lot. Thanks for your help. And uh, yeah, guys, enjoy. Thanks.